you want to paint your nails uh, with a gel polish and you want it to be either a contrasting color or the same color and I have a gel top coat on these nails what I would recommend is coming in with a fine buffing block and just buffing the shine off the nails I'm going to be painting a snake's print over top of the nail polish here as you can see I started on my thumb and this nail tip is what it looks like finished um, I've taken Cena gel white and I've taken white in the little pots from eBay and I've made my own mixture you can see here on this tile because you want it to be um, not too thin and not too thick you want it to be have like a medium consistency to put your light on your uh, UV light and just let it run so that you can put your hand in and out of it and freeze the gel so that it doesn't run At this point it doesn't have to be totally perfect and totally uh, filled in white because on your second layer you can come in and perfect some of these lines like See, we come closer to the tip of the nail our scales in the middle here are getting smaller and like I said don't worry about perfection at this time because we will be coming back in and doing a second coat on top of these scales and it will look so much better so no worries there okay it is a little bit time-consuming doing this but the effect is beautiful I have seen this effect done by a lot of the Eastern European nail techs and they are so brilliant. I love their work. See this little V here? You would just uh, bring your gel up there into a point here, like right up in this area, and just fill it in. Just bring it up to that little point there. See that in between those two little scales and bring it down. As you can see, I've already came in and gave a second layer on top of the scales from here down to here. And we just keep going. There, you can come in and you can perfect your lines. Easier now. The last thing you do is just use a wipe and some isopropyl alcohol and just clean the tacky layer off of the gel. Now you can leave it shiny or you can come in with a fine buffing block and just buff the surface and you can have a matte finish. This is the end of the tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed it and I hope you will incorporate this design into your nail work and I hope that you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye!